Hi guys, today I wanted to show you how I make the chain scarf that was featured in the pictures at the beginning of this video. And all you're going to need is two skeins of this Premier Yarns Couture Jazz Yarn. And this is in the color Slate. And that's all you're going to need for this project, other than a pair of scissors. Um, the first thing you want to do is remove the wrappers from your two skeins of yarn. Pull a strand from, I like to pull from the center of the skein. And it might pull out a big ball of yarn, or you might be lucky and just pull out a single strand. And there's the end. Okay, so we're going to use two strands of yarn at one time. So pull a strand from the center of both of your skeins. And here we have the two strands from the two different skeins and we're gonna put them together as if they're one. The next thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you want to drape the yarn over your hand and make sure you have about a half a foot of tail here. And then you're going to pinch those two strands or four strands together Insert your thumb, twist the yarn, or twist your hand away from you, and grab the yarn that's attached to the skein of yarn. So rather than grabbing the tail, you grab the yarn that is attached to the skein of yarn. Okay, and then you would just pull that loop up, and now you have this slip knot here, and you have this new loop that you just created. So the next thing you wanna do is insert your hand halfway into that new loop that you made. Make sure the loop isn't too big. You can you know, tighten it up just a little bit. So you're gonna grab the working yarn, both strands of it, and pull it through so that you make another small loop. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and insert your hand again halfway, your um, thumb and your, your four fingers. And again, you're gonna grab the two strands of yarn and pull it through halfway. Pull some excess yarn from your skeins of yarn. Again, tighten that up just a little bit. Insert your hand halfway. Grab the two strands of yarn and pull it through. And we're starting to make this chain here. So again, you have a new loop. Tighten it up a little bit. Insert your hand halfway. Grab the yarn, the working yarn, and pull it through again. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing that. And you can make it as loose or as tight as you want. Um, mine is a little bit loose, but I don't have any um, holes that you can see through. So it's a little bit loose, but it's tight enough so that there's no holes. So again, insert your hand, grab the yarn, pull it through. Insert your hand, grab the yarn, and pull it through. Make sure you tightened up a, a little bit. Insert your hand, grab the yarn, and pull it through. And we're just gonna keep doing this until we run out of yarn, or until we have a few inches left. Just pulling some excess from these skeins of yarn down there. So just continue to insert your hand, grab the working yarn and pull it through the loop while keeping it a little bit tight. And of course I'm getting dog hair on my yarn because there's dog hair on the floor. I didn't vacuum before I made this video. <laughs> Maybe I should have. And just continue doing this. And it'll probably take you about 10 minutes to get through both skeins of yarn since you're using them both at the same time. So I have about five or six inches left of one strand and they ended up uneven, that's okay. Um, that'll probably happen with yours too. I have about three feet left of the other strand. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here and what you wanna do is instead of pulling it through to create another loop, you're just gonna pull it through all the way And just 
tighten it up. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is cut the excess on both ends. So this is the beginning of the scarf. What I like to do with the beginning is make an extra knot because um, it's not very secure with just the slip knot. So just um, stick your fingers in the end and then grab those two strands of yarn, make a loop. Okay, so we made a loop and then we're just going to pull those strands through. And that creates a second knot just to keep it a little more secure. Now we're gonna take these ends and just kind of tuck them in. So I'm gonna go through just one of the stitches or one of the loops here. Pull it through all the way. And we're kind of tucking it and kind of weaving it in at the same time. So I have this stitch here. I'm just gonna pull through there. Just kind of do it in a way where it's gonna blend in. And I have this other loop here and I'm just gonna pull it through there. And I'm gonna go back up towards the end of the scarf and tuck on through this loop here. Okay, and you can't even really tell that I'm tucking it through there. And then we're gonna go in through here. And the reason I'm tucking it in so many times and weaving it um, along the edge is just to keep it from coming undone. So now what I'm gonna do is cut just a couple of inches off of here. Okay, and we're gonna take these and just tuck them where they fit. All right, so there you have the end of your scarf. And if you want, you can go ahead and trim those up a little bit, or you can tuck them in somewhere else so that they're not so visible. I'm just gonna go ahead and weave them just like that. So there's one end. And if you want, you can go ahead along your whole scarf and just kind of loosen it up a little bit. You come to the other end, and this is where we had some unevenness of the yarn. So I'm gonna cut these at about six inches. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just going to start tucking and weaving. So I'm gonna go through this first hole here. And then I'm gonna go through this one here to the front. And then I'm gonna go through this one here and I'm gonna start going back up the scarf. So we'll go to the back. And then we're gonna go to the front through that loop. And now we're just gonna cut some of the excess leave a couple of inches and we're gonna tuck those in. I'm gonna tuck them into this strand here. If you can get them in there, just kind of shove them in. Okay, and then if you'd like, you can cut some of the excess off and kind of even it out. Now, you don't wanna cut too much off so that it pulls through, you know what I mean? So just leave about a quarter of an inch sticking out and you can kind of round it out with the edge of the scarf. And that's it, you have your chain scarf that you can wrap around, as I showed in the pictures in the beginning, wrap it around a couple of times and it's super soft, super cozy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really easy, takes about 10 minutes to make, 
and it's perfect for the fall and winter throw on with any outfit um, that's it I'll see you guys in my next video